Here's Cassell. Johnson with it. Here's Cassell. Just four to shoot. Here's Garnett. Second chance effort. Over Plumley. Man, a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Really hard not to respect the tremendous impact Garnett has on both ends of the floor. He plays with tremendous intensity in all situations and never gives you less than 100% effort. And the second free throw is good. So it's the Hornets now. Ball with it. From downtown. Rebounded by Johnson. And we're about a minute into the first. Here's Hassel. And he banks in the layup. Reliable approach. Getting the ball in the paint and going to work. And here's Ball. Pass to Rozier. Back to Ball. Not enough on that one as it misses. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. And it's Hassel missing. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Already in his career, we've seen the numerous ways in which Ball can score. He's got a lot in his package. He hits the second from the line. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Here's Cassell. Knocks down the long chain. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Plumley a screen. Outside for Rozier. Again the miss by the Hornets. It's hard not to want payback when you give up a three at the other end, but it can force you to rush things. Here's Garnett. Hornets with the rebound. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Ball outside. Washington a screen. To the inside. Johnson with it. Picked up by Plumley. Down low. Here's Garnett. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. How about that for a flush? Garnett going up with confidence and packing a punch. Now here's Ball. And the three-pointer goes. Three points. Ball's got seven points in the game. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Blocked. Big block that time by Garnett, using every inch of that frame to get the block. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Rozier from outside. That shot is off. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's Garnett. He's got five. Yep, that one goes. Seven points in the game. Boy, he plays with so much physicality. Garnett accustomed to finishing through contact. Out to Hayward. One twenty-seven left to the first. It's good. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Fires from deep. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Up top, Rozier. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Back to Maladon. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Pass to Garnett. Blocked! Charlotte trailing. Inside. It's stolen by Johnson. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Sprewell. 
Pounded by Rozier. Johnson. Just five to shoot. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Here's Hassel. Kept alive. Garnett, that's good. Kevin Garnett doing a nice job using those long arms of his to snag missed shots. Pass to Hayward from the arc. He can't hit that time. And so it's Minnesota closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the... If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Timberwolves. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. Chalk up two there. He's got five. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. There's Ball with a three. The shot, no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. To the middle. Here's Garnett. Here's Hassel. Left side, Johnson. Pass to Garnett. Tries again. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. You know, play like this, I think, is a credit to Garnett's focus. He doesn't let the clock distract him from getting done what needs to be done. Second personal foul. First team foul. Second quarter of basketball. About a minute played so far. And here's Washington. Oh, dismissed. And they get it back. Ball. Garnett's length really helps him contest shots. He's effective at using that length to make things hard for the shooter. Hayward with the block. Ball outside. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Washington's shot is good. You know, Washington brings terrific strength to his inside game. He plays with quite a bit of force and fought his way into that shot. Pass to Sprewell. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. They retain possession. Here's Garnett. Hayward with a steal. There's the triple. And they recover it. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. So both teams making some changes here. Rozier, left side, pulls up on the wing, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. And even with the miss, that's a high-percentage shot for him. To the paint. Some solid defense from Williams. Pass to Washington. Stolen by Davis. Here we go. Stolen by Rozier. Here we go. One on one. To three. Smith. Kept alive by Charlotte. Rozier outside. Back to Martin. Out left to the wing. Five on the clock. Fires for three. Charlotte again missing. Now the Timberwolves with it. Here's Davis. And the layup is good off the glass. 149 left to play in the first half. It's Martin on the wing. Again, the miss by the Hornets. 
there's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. What a remarkable way to finish the break. A textbook kickback to set up the easy finish. To the inside. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Rozier with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. To the middle. He shoots. The shot by Horberg. No good. And so it's Charlotte with it. 15-point game. Down low. Williams. Mark Williams. That one falls. Williams has got his first bucket in this one. They were totally in sync on that play. Targeted the pass beautifully. To the left wing. Inside. Here's Madsen. Some solid defense from Martin. Now here's Smith. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Boy, we're going to see lots of those. Washington can really get up. Got a little main streak in him, too, which I like. Sixteen seconds left in the first half of basketball. Stolen by Rozier. And they're on the run. Here's the second effort. It'll count. Washington. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be right back. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And so it's Minnesota with it. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. To the middle. Here's Garnett. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Hayward for three. Knocks down the triple. Hayward's got five points. Boy, you just can't let Hayward get set off the pass. He's a knockdown shooter. Pass to Hassel. Here's Garnett. Fires it. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. And Washington powers it through. Boy, nice job that time by P.J. Washington to knock down the shot after setting the screen. Here's Cassell. The Hornets pull it in. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Rozier outside. Five to shoot. Second chance shot. The shot, no good. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Pass to Garnett. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the building. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. To the inside. Hayward, good. Hayward's got five points in the quarter. 
In describing Hayward as a scorer, I think a good word is determined. I mean, he'll take contact if he has to. And whatever it takes to get his points, he's willing to do. And they'd love to cut this deficit down to single digits. To the paint. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Down low. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. First team foul. Substitution for the away team. Mason. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Pass to Plumley. Second shot opportunity. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. And here are the Timberwolves. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Inside. Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. You know, Garnett is a willing passer, especially when one of his guys has a clean look. Slam dunk by Plumley. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. One hand, hole punch. And breaking out the one hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Yes, indeedy. Well done. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third quarter. They grab their own miss. Rozier from outside. That one doesn't drop. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Pass to Hassel. The three is up. The shot misses. And Charlotte going the other way now. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Hayward. So Charlotte going with almost an entire new group here. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Williams. Rebounded by Johnson. Mark Williams. First personal foul. First team foul. And, you know, Sam Cassell is about as reliable as it gets, guys. I mean, he's an excellent scorer who does a nice job running the offense and doesn't shy away from big moments either. And there's the screen. And he's going for the lob! Up high and down it goes on the lob. A specialty of KT's, the lob slam. Pass to Martin. Smith outside. 